Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia. Today is episode number 451. The category will be Trebek Trivia number 12. This is 20 questions from the television show Jeopardy that have been altered slightly so they fit the format of this quiz show. There will be a tiebreaker question, question 21, at the very end of this quiz. Thank you for watching today, and good luck on today's quiz. Question 1. Contrary to its colorful name, the largest island in the world is primarily covered with icy tundra and immense glaciers. What is the name of this island that is located between the Arctic and Atlantic Oceans? The answer is Greenland. Question 2. What is the name of the legendary sword of King Arthur, sometimes also attributed with magical powers or associated with the rightful sovereignty of Britain? The answer is Excalibur. Question 3. Who was the American automobile executive best known for the development of the Ford Mustang and the Ford Pinto cars while at Ford Motor Company in the 1960s and for reviving the Chrysler Corporation as its CEO in the 1980s? The answer is Lee Iacocca. Question 4. Because in 1932, she retired from the act to marry a British aristocrat, 1931's The Bandwagon was the last time that what brother and sister shared the dancing spotlight? The answer is Fred Astaire and his sister Adele. Question 5. Introduced in 1792, what instrument for inflicting capital punishment by decapitation was finally abolished in France in 1981? Unfortunately, 188 years too late for Marie Antoinette. The answer is the guillotine. Question 6. Also called the Schwarzwald, what is the more common name of the mountainous region in southwest Germany known for its dense evergreen forests and picturesque villages that is often associated with the Brothers Grimm fairy tales? The answer is the Black Forest. Question 7. In his 1971 song that peaked at number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100, John Denver's Country Roads led to what West Virginia mountains? The answer is the Blue Ridge Mountains. Question 8. While there are other groups of the same nature that have existed longer, the first group to identify itself as what type of organization was Gamma Pi Beta in 1874 at Syracuse U University? That was the first group to call themselves a sorority. Question 9. 
Now used for the Neil deGrasse Tyson television show, what is the ancient Greek's word for world or Carl Sagan's word for universe? The answer is cosmos. Question 10. In the 1981 movie, George Hamilton's character's preferred weapon is a rapier. He often uses that weapon to leave behind what distinctive mark with three quick strokes? That movie was Zorro, and he would leave behind a Z. Question 11. Luther Billis is Nellie Forbush's Honey Bun in what 1949 Rodgers and Hammerstein Broadway musical that was adapted into a 1958 film starring Ray Walston and Mitzi Gaynor? The answer is South Pacific. Question 12. What radio hero from the 1930s knows what evil lurks in the heart of men and would remind listeners at the end of the show that the weed of crime bears bitter fruit, crime does not pay? Who knows? The shadow knows. Question 13. What is the field of mechanics concerned with the launching, flight behavior, and impact effects of projectiles, especially ranged weapon munitions such as bullets, unguided bombs, or rockets? That field is called ballistics. Question 14. What popular tourist destination was annexed in 1898 by the United States of America, mostly due to pressure from local sugar planters? The answer is Hawaii. Question 15. What was the name of the English actress, singer, and author who played both Rex Harrison's 1964 Fair Lady and Richard Burton's 1960 Guinevere? Her name was Julie Andrews. Question 16. It was his partner, James Marshall, who actually discovered gold at his California mill in 1848. What was the name of the man who owned the mill that was the focal point of the 1849 gold rush? His name was John Sutter. Question 17. In the Missouri Compromise of 1820, in return for Missouri's admittance as a slave state, what New England state was brought in as a free state? The answer is the state of Maine. Question 18. 
from the mythological Greek woman who unwisely challenged Athena to a spinning and weaving contest, what is the scientific name for spiders? Her name was Arachne, and spiders are arachnids. Question 19. One of the newest monuments in the National Park System, what U.S. city is home to the 630-foot tall monument that is definitely the tallest in the country? The answer is St. Louis. It's the Gateway Arch. Question 20. Featuring dramatic canyons, alpine rivers, lush forests, hot springs, and gushing geysers, what is the name of the nearly 3,500 square mile protected wilderness recreation area atop a volcanic hotspot in the northwestern United States? The answer is Yellowstone National Park. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trivia. If you'd like to get in on the competition for next month to win the $170, the link is above and it'll be at the end of this video. All you need to do is take a video of you wherever you are, 20 seconds long, say welcome to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz email that video to me or post it onto YouTube and send me the link at roadtrivia at gmail.com and I will stick it on the front of a trivia quiz next month and whichever one of those quizzes has the most views in a month's time will win all of the money that Road Trivia earned from YouTube in February which was our first month as a monetized YouTube channel so if you'd like to get in on that it's not very much money, but it's a little bit of money, and it's enough to get you a YouTube premium for at least a year. So if you would like to get in on that competition, check out the video, check out the link, and email me your submission as soon as possible, because we're going to get started about April 3rd or 4th. So it's right around the corner. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for today. What number is the Fahrenheit equivalent to the Celsius temperature of zero? When the Celsius scale is at zero, Fahrenheit is at 32 degrees. Thank you for watching today. Have a good day. See you tomorrow.